Hi, welcome to StructureVec, a technique to learn node representations from structural identity. So network nodes often play very different roles. For example, managers within an organizational network have a role that's different from interns. Enzymes in protein-protein interaction networks play a very particular role. These roles can often be defined by the structural position of nodes. And by that, we mean the relationship of nodes to other nodes and their roles. These roles actually provide some kind of structural identity to nodes. It's a structure that is imposing on the node some kind of identity. In order to talk about structural identity, we need to measure structural similarity. And for us, this is going to be a function of the neighborhood of the nodes. Nodes that have similar neighborhoods of increasing sizes will be considered similar even if they are very far apart in the network. Using this similarity metric, nodes are actually going to be represented in space according to their structural identity, in the sense that we're going to learn representations that capture the identity of the nodes. So similar roles should be placed together close to each other in the latent representation. Here's an example of structure vac in action. Nodes with identical colors in this little graph are actually structurally equivalent. And note that structure vac places them very close together in their latent representation. You see, all the blue nodes here are together, even if they are quite a far apart in the network. This kind of latent representation is quite useful for classification tasks that require knowing the roles of the nodes. More details about structure vac you can find in the upcoming SIG KDD uh, 2017, and I look forward to meeting you there. Bye!